So today's video is going to be all about my it's bag. I'm gonna unbag it in this video. So a lot of you guys have been telling me you are liking the way I'm doing my unboxings now. I did it with my boxy charm and I also did it. <clears throat> And I also did it with my Ipsy bag last month. I just feel like I want to make my unboxings a little bit more entertaining or a little bit more useful. So I like to try on the products as I go before I would kind of just unbox everything. And then when I was done filming, I would kind of do my makeup with it and insert clips. But I feel like if I do it as I am filming, I can give you my thoughts initially like right then and there. The only thing with that is that I'm not like super surprised because I already know what's inside the boxes or the bags. You know what I mean? So I did take a peek of what is inside. I haven't opened anything. I haven't swatched or felt anything. So it's still a first impression. I just peeked in, saw more or less what I got, and then did my makeup according to what was in here. You know, you guys know what I mean. I don't know why I'm explaining, because you, because you know. So yeah, before I get into my Ipsy bag, I just want to give you guys a quick chit chat about New York City. I will leave right here a timestamp so you can fast forward if you do not give a rat's ass about my experiences in New York or me talking about New York. Like if you're like, I don't care, then no problem, I hear ya. Fast forward this video and I will put the time right here where the actual unbagging starts. Because I did want to sit down and thank you guys for going to Gen Beauty. And I thought what better video to throw it in than an Ipsy video because my unboxings are so short. This one's gonna be long though. So I just really wanted to say thank you to everyone who went out to Gen Beauty on Friday and Saturday. Saturday and Sunday. It really was amazing meeting so many of you. I was at the Ofra booth from 2.30 to 4 o'clock on both days. I had a meet up both days. It was really, really amazing. And I'm so glad that I did that because the trip to New York had me really, really, really anxious. I don't want this video to be too long. I don't want to go into too many details. But we got there Wednesday night, and then on Thursday, it was a great day. We spent, me and Danny, we went to Starbucks in the morning, and then we walked around Central Park, and I thought I was in a movie. I swear, I felt like I was in a movie. I see Central Park so much on TV, and it was so cool to actually be there. I had never been to New York before. It was my first time, and it was amazing. Central Park is so much bigger than I thought it was. I, I was like, kid, in a candy store in Central Park. I loved it. But then after that, we wanted to go to Ground Zero and we wanted to see the 9-11 Memorial. Like that was really important to us to go and see it. And when I got there, holy crap, I cannot explain it to you. Seeing everything gave me so much anxiety. I was kind of like walking around and reading everything and looking at all the pictures and my heart was just like, dun, 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 dun. I couldn't explain it. I felt, I, I don't even know, I don't know how to explain it. Going to that is like reliving 9-11 all over again. It's just so incredibly sad. They show a lot of footage and videos. They show text messages from people, like voicemails from people who were affected during that time and you can just feel the sadness and the anxiety and the panic just reading and watching all of that. It made me feel so sad. <sighs> I don't know, it's, it is a beautiful, beautiful memorial and I really love how they have all the names of the victims, you know, so they're never forgotten. And it was really nice to go and see, but it put me like on edge and the feeling kind of stayed there like in my soul for the rest of my trip. On Friday, we just kind of walked around New York City and holy crap, if you live in New York City, how do you not? Like there's so many people. It is so fast paced. I mean, it is magical. It is a magical city, but it's so, it's so intense. I was like scared to bump into people and then people will like bump into you and like not even notice. So just keep walking and you're like, sorry, I'm sorry. I wanted to go to Times Square and actually we were driving down Times Square and the driver was like, here it is. This is Times Square. And I was like, oh, I'm not getting off the car. <laughs> there were so many people and I don't know if it was a busy weekend, I guess. New York Fashion Week or was that last week? I'm not sure, but there were a lot of people or maybe it's always like that but I was kind of nervous but I didn't want to get off my car because I thought I would have a panic attack in the middle of Times Square and that wasn't gonna be pretty one thing that is really really cool about New York I feel it's that's probably the best place to vlog at sometimes I hate vlogging because I feel like I'm being judged by people like are you talking to your camera or but in New York like you can vlog and nobody would notice I feel like you could be naked on a unicycle juggling and no one would notice. Everyone's just minding their own business, just trying to get to where they're going. Like, no one cares what you're doing. That's pretty freaking awesome. That's not like that in Miami. People will stare at you if you're doing something. They're just like staring at you with judgment. But anyway, and then I was really, really 
like extra nervous for Saturday and Sunday. I get so nervous during meetups, like, oh my gosh, I have no idea. But you guys were so awesome and nice that it really did calm down my anxiety. But actually, the first day of Gen Beauty, which was Saturday, as soon as I got in my Uber to leave back to the hotel, thank God it happened after, but as soon as I got into my Uber, um, I lost my vision on my right eye. And that happens to me sometimes. It hadn't happened in a few months, but I suffer from really, really, really bad migraines. And it causes me to lose my vision for a little bit. I've gone to eye doctors, brain doctors, head doctors, I've gone to all of that and everyone tells me it's just a migraine. But as soon as I got in my Uber, I noticed that and I was like, oh my god, I'm about to get a really horrible migraine. And 20 minutes later, it hit me like a rock and it was probably the worst migraine I've ever had in my life. We went back to the hotel room and I was like crying in the bed for like two hours. My head hurt so bad. If you suffer from migraines, I trust me, I know it sucks. There's like nothing you can do. I took Excedrin and it did nothing. I ate, I tried to like take it away, but just time and tears took it away. And then once I felt a little bit better after I had eaten, I really wanted to go to the Benefit dinner because Benefit was hosting like this murder mystery dinner. And I wanted to see all my YouTube friends because I didn't get a chance to hang out with them during the day at Gen Beauty. So I went and it was a lot of fun. I was there with Casey, Tess, and then like a bunch of YouTubers, but those are the people I was sitting around. So those are the people I was hanging out with the most. And the dinner was actually in Chelsea in New York. And we were three blocks away from the bomb that went off. And as soon as I heard the news, I freaked out like I went into panic mode and I tried I tried not to pull a Kathleen because I was in front of so many bloggers and youtubers and I didn't want to <laughs> form a show in front of these people so I would just look at Danny with like my eyes like wide open and he's like calm down relax I wanted to leave I wanted to just go back to my hotel room there were streets that were blocked off and I felt so bad because I was you know sitting talking to Casey and you know we were just talking about life and I love Casey seriously Casey Holmes is awesome we we're just sitting down talking and my mind just kept going to like the TV they had like the news on the TV and I just kept looking at the news and looking at the news and I tried to focus and just like not panic but I couldn't help it horrible anxiety as soon as we left um, we left pretty early I was like I, I have to get out of here as soon as we left I was like crying in the car panic attack it was so scary that it happened so close to us thankfully nobody died from the explosion thank you so much there were uh, a few people who were injured I think like 25 but no deaths, thank God. And it just caught me off guard so much that the next day when I went to wake up to go to Gen Beauty on Sunday, I almost didn't go. I could I can't explain to you the panic like in my chest. Like I did not want to go. I didn't want to leave my hotel room. I just wanted to stay there until I had to go home. And I was so close to not going. So close. And oh my god, I don't want to get emotional, but when I got there um, on Sunday, there was a girl. She was actually the first girl in line. She told me that she came all the way from Israel, and then I immediately felt like pure dog shit. When I left on Sunday, I had told Danny, I'm like, can you imagine if I wouldn't have gone? Like, I would have disappointed her. I mean, I would have disappointed everybody, but I, this girl came from Israel. Like, I would have disappointed her so much. And just the thought of that made me feel so bad. Like, I almost let my anxiety get in the way from meeting my subscribers. And thankfully, I went, you know, I, I pushed my feelings all the way to the back of my head. And I was like, no, I'm going to meet my friends. I met and I hugged so many of you. And that's also what I want to say in this video. Thank you so much for sharing your stories with me. I really hate meetups at the same time because you can only be with someone for like 40 seconds and then they have to leave, you know, they make you go. You don't want to make people wait in line for so long, which I understand. I hate when people have to wait in line for me like that. that I, I don't I don't like that at all. But then at the same time, I don't I don't want to make people leave so fast. I wish I could have stayed with each and every one of you individually like longer because we were talking about so many things and I just wanted to hear more stories but I just wanted to say thank you for those of you who came up to me sharing your anxiety stories with me saying that I helped you like oh, you guys make me so happy I feel like I can't believe I helped people with their anxiety I am such an emotional wreck I am so unstable like my anxiety always gets the best of me so when people tell me that I help them with their anxiety it blows my mind and it makes me feel so much better thank you for being so sweet to me I'm sorry you had to wait in a line I, I, oh, I felt so happy for the hour and a half Saturday and Sunday when I was really anxious on my trip after we left on Sunday I went to go have dinner with one of my YouTube friends Rosita if you follow her Rosita Applebaum she is awesome I connect on her on such an emotional level I feel like she is so down to earth so real I freaking love her so much so we went to this restaurant called the smith and let me tell you something i had the best avocado tacos i've ever had in my life if you live in new york or if you're in new york city it's like in manhattan pretty sure because it was like three blocks away from my hotel and i ordered it without cheese obviously i'm not eating dairy but even without the cheese it was perfection the best avocado tacos ever seriously 
ever. And then the next day we went to the airport and they were still looking for the guy that was um, responsible for the bomb. And that was just really like, oh my god. I had my throat in my butthole the entire time that I was in the airport. And my plane was delayed eight hours. I was supposed to leave at 11 a.m. and I ended up leaving at 7 p.m. It was just frustrating but so happy to be home and happy to start filming again. I know this week videos have been kind of boring but I will jump into tutorials and jump into more fun stuff. I'm gonna be doing a battle of the foundation sticks. I'm gonna do two videos. I'm gonna do a drugstore version and a high-end version with you know drugstore foundation sticks and then high-end foundation sticks because I feel like Foundation sticks are so popular right now, so that video is coming up. If you have any requests for specific videos, leave them down below. I'm also working on doing a room tour and a makeup collection, updated, all that stuff. I'm working on it. So, yeah. Okay. All right. So, this is what the bag looks like this month. I actually do like this bag. At first, I was like, what is happening there? But I like it. It's like little dancing women. I think it's cute. So, the first thing in the bag is this blue thing right here. This is from the brand Ico London, and this is their I Do Liquid Eyeliner, and it's like a mini version of their eyeliner, or their liquid liner. Waterproof, lash enhancing, and it's in carbon black. Lash enhancing? Oh, this is like a fat chubby, no, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. I kind of prefer more of a fine felt tip. This is more of a thicker, fatter felt tip. But I'm going to try it out anyway. By the way, I have been watching Rain a lot. That CW show, I don't know, did it get canceled? I feel like what's happening there. But I'm almost done with season two and I don't know what I was thinking. I don't want Mary and Bash together. I'm completely over that. I do totally love Conde. At least where I am right now, I love him so much. But then I also really love Francis. It's really hard, I don't know. Okay, so even though I don't really love the style of the pen, I like that it's so matte. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it goes on very, very black and very matte, which I really, really like. It is a little bit drier than I'm used to, so I have a feeling this might dry out pretty quickly, but it's a sample size. It might not be too bad. It actually feels pretty dry trying to do the wing. Okay, I'm not even gonna attempt to do like a super sharp wing because like I said 10 times, this is a little chubby for a sharp wing. This is already getting a little too dry for me. Okay, so I think I might have gotten a dry one because that was a little bit of a struggle. I felt like I had to keep going back into the cap or like shaking it up to get a lot of pigment and that's the first time I used that, so a little strange. Next thing is this little guy right here. What's this? Oh yes, I had seen this earlier, okay. <clears throat> this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This is like a little sample size of it. I have actually mentioned these once in a disappointing products video, I believe. I personally don't love this. Oh my gosh, this one is like, what color is this? Does this not have a shade? It almost looks duochrome in the bottle, but I think it's just like their clear color. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to my mom because she's a psychopath who actually likes these. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it smells really good. If you like, maybe this one is different from the one I've tried. I kind of want to test it out. I tried this once and it burned the absolute crap out of my lips, like on an insane level. It came out with like a pink shade, a purple shade, and all those, and I tried those out, but this Lip Injection Extreme, I don't know if this is, this is one I've tried. And obviously, extreme probably means that it's more intense. But you know what? For the sake of this video, I'm going to put it on my mouth. Let's take off my lipstick. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, let's see how long that lasts on my mouth because I'm already starting to feel it. So, the next thing in the bag is this. This is right here. This is the Eyes by Two Ghost Spa Green Tea Eyes, the energy drink for your face, aka the Dark Circle Warrior. Ooh, nice. Three under eye treatments with collagen, amino acids, and vitamins. Yes, yes, and yes. So, I've never tried these out before. I've kind of used something similar to this. I do like the ones I've tried in the past. They feel really hydrating underneath the eyes. I'm probably gonna do this later on tonight. I feel like my face needs a nice pamper session, nice hydration. It's so dry right now with like all the skin issues mama's been having. So I'm really excited to try these out. And this is actually a pretty decent size for Ipsy, like three 
separate treatments, that's pretty good. Update on the lips, I don't think they're as bad as the other one. I had their full size and all their different colors, they're like brand new, and I tried the nude one on and it was unbearable. This isn't so bad, and it says extreme, I don't know. Okay, this one. This is the Aven Hydrating Serum, it is hyperallergenic, non-comedogenic and it is for sensitive skin. I really really like this brand because I have sensitive skin myself. I think that these little samples are perfect to travel with. Like I prefer taking something like this on vacation versus like my full size product. So this is nice. I'm actually gonna hide this one away. Once I figure out what's going on with my skin, then I'll jump into some skincare. I don't want to irritate my skin. Even though it's for sensitive skin, I don't want to use this just yet, but I will be keeping this because I really do like this brand. This is from a brand called Seraphine Botanicals, and this is their Guava Butter 91% Natural Creamy Lip and Cheek Stain. I feel like my lips are numb. I feel like they never truly burned. They just went completely numb. Mm. Odd. Okay. Ah! Okay. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Guava Butter. Let's swatch this. Okay, it's not too scary. It doesn't look as dark as it does in the tube. So let's see how this blends. I'm so nervous to put this on my cheeks. Feels kind of greasy, just a little bit. Do my lips look bigger to you? Every time I see really big lips or if I like overdraw my lips and I try to do like a pouty lip, I always think of Mrs. Toad from Thumbelina because she got like them big juicy lips. I know Charo is like the voice of the frog and it's like supposed to be like looking like Charo, but that's what I think of. Okay, I'm gonna use this Honest Beauty buffing brush and I'm going to tap some of these on the brush and then I'm gonna tap some on the back of my hand just, you know, to be on the safe side. What do you guys think? Does it look a little patchy here? I feel like in my mirror it looks a little patchy. What do you guys think? I don't think it looks bad, actually. I actually think it looks nice, so I'm kind of fresh face. I obviously didn't apply too much, and I think it does look nice. I think it looks really, really natural, which I like. I'm gonna try it out on my lips now, so let me just uh, take this off. And honestly, I think that this does make your lips look bigger. Like, I feel like it does, right? I have a kind of like a small top lip, but I think it does make it look a little bigger, but I honestly, it's because your lips get so irritated that they like swell up. And you can kind of tell on the outside parts of your lips, like, it irritates them and, like, swells your lips up. Therefore, making your lips look big and juicy. So, I'm gonna try this out on my lips. I'm just gonna... Okay, so I actually really like it on my lips. I like the hydrating feel it gives my lips. And I really like the color. It's in the shade Pure Guava. And, yeah. That's it. So you guys, that was everything I got in this month's Ipsy bag. I will leave the names of the products down below and next to it I will have what it costs as a full size product because some of these are full size but some of these are not. So yeah, I will have that below along with the Ipsy website in case you want to join. Ipsy, it is only $10 a month. But yeah, let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. Did we get the same bag or did we get completely different bags? Let me know down below. Yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I have never been, I had never, I feel like I said everything I wanted to say, I, I feel like I said everything I wanted to say, no. It's a little, it's a little thick, you know, so, it's a little thick. Cause that was a little bit of, the first thing in the bag is this, oh, I burped, I gotta do that again. <laughs> what time is it? I actually have to go to a baseball game. Man, this shit is heavy, man. Mine? Yeah, man. <laughs> Ooh. It kind of gives your cheek... Ugh. I accidentally nipped it with my mirror.